said he had a knack for refuse. He's the hungry fairy. Hey everybody. So today we're going to take a look at the app. I'm not going to teach you how to use it. I'm just going to show you around the app. So let's load it up. So right off the bat, I wasn't connected to the meter. That's because I didn't have my Bluetooth on. So once I started it up, it started searching for the meter. And all you have to do is just select it. It's already been paired up before, so it's going to show. Now to start, just hit set up cook. I select the beef, ribeye, and the USDA choice. So now it's reading all the three temperatures. I have my internal. Oop. It looks like I lost connection for a second. This occasionally happens. Especially if it's through a metal door or slot or something. So back to what I was saying. I have the internal temperature, I have the target temperature, and then I have the ambient. So ambient temp is a little low, so I might not be able to tell you the full cook time. But typically in a normal setup, it will be able to tell you if it's like above 200 degrees. Also notice on the graph, there's three triangles. And those three triangles correspond to the three temps inside the app. Now you can set different alerts. You can set an alert for when the ambient temperature is below a certain degrees, and when it rises. And you also can set other time temperature alerts. This is especially good for a manual smoker. Now you could see the estimated time cooking or the time elapsed. Then again, it's probably just not showing it because the ambient temperature is very low. Now if you hit back, you can see all the other meters you would have. If you have multiple ones, say such as four, you will see four meters listed. At the moment, the block is not out yet, so you probably can't take a full advantage of this. Let's take a look at some of the settings. You can set the scale and the alert sounds. You can pick from anything in the list. Also, you can have the notifications expire, notify me five minutes before, add or remove devices, and then enable all the cloud and link features. And you also could keep the screen on or show the probe instructions before each time you set up a cook. If you go into help, you can see all the videos that they have on instructions on how to use the meter. You could look at the previous cooks. You can also see the recipes that Meters has posted. And let's go back into the cook. One cool feature is the temperature graph. You can see the ambient and the internal temperatures. This is displayed in real time. Anytime you want to stop a cook, just hit the stop hand and hit OK. And I'm going to show you some other guided cooks here. If you need something custom, you could definitely set it. You can set the target temperature. Name the cook. And apply alerts. This is especially helpful and more unique or if you have your own preferred temperature. So the app is pretty easy to use. If you pick a more common item, you could just use a guided cook. But at the same time, it's not difficult to do a custom one. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.